going to be a green portal over here. All right, and welcome back, guys. And the 115 update is currently live in Vanguard Zombies. We're going to be testing everything out. And the most important thing that you guys have asked for first is testing out the new round based mode in Vanguard Zombies. And it works kind of really weird. It's not its own mode, and there's a lot of stuff to go with it. So we're going to fully test out all that stuff. As you can see here, we're currently in the menu of Vanguard Zombies. And you've got Durafong, you've got Private, you've got Solo, and all these take you right in. There is still only one mode available for this game so we're going to go ahead play solo and i'm going to show you exactly how it works all that stuff and then later today i kind of want to go through review all the pack a punch camos and we're also going to test out the tier four abilities the riot shield pretty much everything that was added because some of it's actually a little exciting but uh in this video we're going to be focusing on the new i guess it, technically it is round based but at the same time it's not its own thing but uh it's confusing we'll explain everything right here you know and just like that we're now loaded into game and even though that we're loaded into the match we still can't go to the round based right away it is something you have to unlock and it takes a little bit of time so if your goal is to load it and play round based the first thing you want to do is head over to this objective not harvest but whatever objective directly across from the covenants and the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and fully complete this objective. And yeah, this round based mode really isn't what most people thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie. It's interesting. It's kind of cool, but it doesn't have a lot of replayability to it. It's something that I had a little bit of fun for maybe an hour or so last night on stream. But then after playing it for about an hour, I kind of lost interest and was ready to move on to something else. I do think this is honestly might be the best way for grinding the Dark Ether camo. Unfortunately, we actually have all camos like currently unlocked in zombies, except for like the new SMG and the rocket launchers. So I'll be able to try it out a little bit. But I think if you're grinding for the Dark Ether camo, this new round based option probably is going to be the best bet. But don't don't hold my word on that. We haven't done any testing. I don't know if it's going to be the most kills per minute or anything like that. With that being said, let me go ahead, finish this objective. While I'm doing that, if you're new here and want to sub, I would greatly appreciate that. And on top of that, I got to give a massive thanks to everyone who's like, comment, and watch this video in its, in, in its entirety as it does greatly help me out. And okay, just like that, the very first objective is done. Now what we're going to do is head out here towards Quick Revive, and we're obviously going to grab Quick Revive because, you know, free perk. And now the next thing we need to do, you're going to see there is a new portal here. And once we do this objective, this little office area is going to open up. So yes, to be able to activate the round base mode, you do have to do another objective. So a total of two objectives you have to do first. And after you do these two objectives, then we'll be able to start it. So let me go ahead and uh, do this entire objective off screen. Okay, and finally, now that we've completed those two objectives, as you can see, there is a new objective called Void up here. So if we head in to this room, uh, let's not get hit. You can see that you can now actually come upstairs here. There really isn't anything in the downstairs area. Uh, get that jackrabbit metal. And boom. So what we're going to do, head up here. And this is probably where like Easter egg stuff is going to start and whatnot. You can see that there's this right here. But there is the void. And you're able to go and activate portal. As you can see, it is Shinonuma there. And now it is going to teleport us to the round based mode currently in Vanguard Zombies that was added last night. And I mean, it's pretty basic. There's not really a whole lot going on here. It's kind of interesting because there's this book and you can kind of punch it. And it's got multiple other little things attached to it that glow when you hit it. But other than that, I mean, it's the same little section of Shinonuma that we've played before. There's no additional areas. You can't go off to the side. The only difference between this right here and, you know, the normal Shinonuma is that they introduced the Pack-A-Punch machine right here, which I find kind of interesting. You'd think that they, were, they would bring, like, all of the different necessities out here, especially since people are probably going to want to stay out here and grind, like, nonstop in, you know, the round-based area. I mean, I'm glad they brought the Pack-A-Punch machine over. It's just, why just bring the Pack-A-Punch machine? To me, it's like, if you had the forethought to bring this, they probably could have brought, you know, the crafting table, put that right there. They could have brought, like, the little book enchanter for the um, field upgrades, put that right there. I, I would hopefully like to see them do that in a future update. If this is kind of the only round-based content we're going to be getting in Vanguard, I'd really like for them to add all of the main stuff over here in this as well. That way you don't currently have to go back. But uh, talking about going back, let's say you want to go back now. You've started this. You want to go back to the normal Vanguard Zombies mode. 
what you have to do now is you've got to go through three rounds so we're gonna have to spend three rounds in here it's currently round four so i don't know if it starts in the round that you came here we'll have to go to probably around six so what we're gonna do sit here and farm we're currently using a weapon that i do not have the dark ether camo unlocked for because it was bogged up until recently so i'm just gonna sit here grind out ugh, the pack-a-punch camos because that's the main thing i still need left for this while we wait for the uh, portal open back up and then i'll show you what happens oh yep the world grows harder and as you can see all we did was kill zombies and it took us from round four to round five so i'm gonna keep going until we get the uh portal to spawn in oh and there we go start of round six and essentially now that we survive three rounds if we don't freaking die because you know we don't have armor or anything we now have the option to escape it's always gonna be right here and boom we get bonus points for escaping one thing you'll notice is so we just went through three rounds that's what just happened here in the void and usually in normal vanguard zombies every objective you complete every round you go through you get one sacrificial heart so normally if we had just did three objectives oh there's also this cutscene that plays once again i'm free you will all feed the beast so this is obviously looting into like storyline stuff and easter egg stuff that's going to be coming maybe next season maybe season three we don't really know when we're getting that but uh yeah so once you're back here we only got one uh one of the covenant hearts so now after doing those three rounds we can either upgrade or field upgrade or we could potentially um you know do one of the alternate of covenant so that is one of the biggest gripes i have with it if you're trying to go to high rounds it kind of puts you at a disadvantage to do the round based because you're not going to be getting the same amount of covenant hearts and especially now that you can upgrade your field upgrades the fact that it's round six and i have a like i've got no covenants and a tier three ring of fire like it would have been really nice to get maybe two sacrificial hearts compared to the one so if you're gonna go for high rounds in the round based option honestly you kind of just want to god dang getting wrecked out here you kind of want to gear up doing the other objectives before you go into bro this STG is not it. Oh my, there we go. So gear up outside of doing round based and then head in once you know you've upgraded your ring of fire and stuff. I mean, you can just go straight into it, but you're not gonna get that many covenant hearts, which are very, very helpful in this game. So that's actually what I'm gonna do. I kinda wanna show you what it's like in higher rounds and show you how ridiculous it gets. So I'm gonna tear up, I'm gonna get Jug and stuff, and I'm gonna get uh, my Ring of Fire maxed out, get some covenants, and then we're gonna head back into the round based, and we're gonna show you what happens when you stay there for a more extended period of time. And there we go, we've done a little bit of farming. If we come back up here, there's actually something you can do to kinda start, you know, a little bit of the Easter egg step or some sort of, you know, additional storyline stuff. After you've been to the void once and came back, you can speak with Kraft up here. He's going to talk about, you know, something, 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 storyline crap. And then after you interact with that, you can come up here and there's going to be another radio right here. Oh, and if you press F on that, we can then head back to the void area. And this is only, like I said, kind of like an introduction to stuff we're going to see in the future. You really can't go and do anything past this, but walk all the way back up here and now there is going to be a green portal over here and that really just gives you storyline stuff but none of that's important even if you didn't do any of what we just did you at any point in time can now go back activate the portal and go to the void the kind of caveat is every time you go to the void you've at least got to spend three rounds here so now that it's round 11 we can't you know go through one round and then leave we at least have to go through three rounds before we can go back and you know buy armor uh, different sort of upgrades upgrade covenant so now we are locked in waiting three plus more rounds here and i wonder now that it's round 11 how difficult it's gonna be but yeah that's really the main gist of it there's not really much more to this it, it seems pretty decent for grinding but then again i haven't tested that out too much there's one additional bonus there is one more thing you get let's say you survive a total of 12 rounds in the void uh, you get some sort of bonus reward and that bonus rewards i mean a little bit interesting it's not super helpful but if we were to stay here for 12 rounds every time we go down and no matter how many times we go down we would never be able to drop below tier 2 perks so let's say you've got all tier 5 perks you go down 30 times no matter what all of your perks will stay at tier 2 which that's an interesting reward it's just to be perfectly honest, like let's say you're in a high round game. If you survive 12 rounds here and you've gone down enough to get all of your perks to tier two, 
you're probably already kind of screwed. I don't think that's going to help you too much. And it's only for this game. Obviously, the next game you play, you're not going to have your perks at tier two. You once again got to buy them again. And you can go back to tier one at just each game you play. If you survive here for 12 rounds, it gives you the ability to keep your perks at minimum tier two, which is interesting. I'm glad they added some sort of reward. It just, it really doesn't seem that useful. I'm not sure how often that's going to get any sort of use out of me, but hey, we can pack a punch this tier three. I mean, this is going by really quickly. This seems, ooh, what is? Take that orange tier. But uh, this seems to definitely probably be the meta for grinding camos now. It seems to be pretty quick. I'm not sure how good the XP rates are in terms of weapon XP, but uh, right now, I've just been camping by Pack-a-Punch. Ring of Fire, camping by Pack-a-Punch, zombies flood in, quick and easy kills. Actually, we're still working on grinding this weapon. Um, Dark Aether, all I really need for this is, okay, 1,200 more Pack-a-Punch kills. 1,200 more pack kills, and we will unlock the Dark Aether camo for this. You know, let's see. Let's see if we can get to round 20. I want to see how effective kind of grinding camos here so far especially with ring of fire which is probably in my opinion going to be the new meta kind of shredding kind of shredding and when i meant new meta i meant ring of fire is probably going to be the new meta for grinding camos in this because it's as you can see keeps your stock oh like it did all the way back in cold war all right it's round 13 i wonder how long this strat right here is going to be viable for oh Oh my, dude, these gunner guys are really freaking annoying, especially on round 20. But uh, yeah, I mean, this spot works and it's actually a pretty, I wouldn't say fun way, but it's a, this method of grinding camos is so much more fun than any of the other methods I've been using to grind camos. Like if you guys have grind the Dark Aether camo in Vanguard Zombies prior to this update, you guys know it was tedious and it involves sitting in one area, punching, for hours but now that the zombies run towards you and you can just kind of stay here and the zombies get faster uh it's it's a lot more enjoyable grinding camos i mean we've gotten 1300 kills since this game started i'm not sure if i'm gonna unlock the dark aether camo for this this game but uh yeah i mean i just sit here kill the zombies they spawn in and this is really it this is everything you need to know about the round based mode that was added to vanguard zombie oh ring of fire let's go let's go let's go all right so round 21 and uh, we have just been grinding in here. And I, I have to say, this method are using round base to grind camos and zombies is so much more fun than all of the other methods for grinding camos in this game. I don't know if it's really the quickest method and it'd be a little bit harder to AFK like you can with the punching method. But uh, I would way rather sit here in this corner, let the zombies get faster and faster and grind Dark Aether this way compared to going on round five and punching in a corner for an hour and a half unlocking everything overall i mean i like that they added this this is a step in the right direction is this the most fun thing ever is this round based mode that was added to vanguard you know gonna add hours and hours and hours of replayability no it's really not it's fun it's interesting and if you have already bought vanguard and you've played zombies a few times this is worth hopping on giving it a shot playing it a few times but it really doesn't hold much value after that after you played this for about an hour unless you're grinding camos it kind of loses all its value and there's really not any replayability this is it there's no additional parts to this except for the hut itself there's nothing like that there's no perks here legitimately camp in a corner use ring of fire and that's the extent of what it is and it's fun for a little bit but that's all I can really say about that. This is not something I'm going to be playing every day. This is not something I'm going to be continuously grinding. Legitimately, after this video, I'm probably not going to hop back onto this until there's some sort of other updates. Obviously, I'm probably going to grind out camos because this is this is fun for grinding camos, but I've already grinded camos for all of the weapons except for the STG, the rocket launchers, and the, uh, the new... The new SMG that was added, I forget what, it, like the wall gun or the, the whale gun, something like that. I don't remember the name of it. So yeah, we'll grind the new SMG using this method. But uh, yeah, like I said, step in the right direction, but it's not a fix for this game. This game has a lot of other issues that have got to be worked on, but give it a shot. Have some fun with it and let me know. What do you guys think about this? For you guys who have gone out there and played this round based mode, what are your opinions on it? How much do you like it and how much replayability do you do you think that you are realistically going to get out of this? I kind of wish it was the full Shinonuma, but hey, at least they finally added 
something. And on top of that, like I said, look out for our videos coming later today. I want to be review. I'm, I'm going to be reviewing all of the pack a punch camos. They added three different pack a punch camos to this game, and I've got some opinions on that. Uh, obviously, the field upgrades are going to be fun, and I kind of want to get a team of four people and use the brand new Riot Shield. Yes, you can use the Riot Shield and zombies now. And uh, I, th I think we're going to have a little bit of fun with that. But, uh, oh, we just got a camo. All we're missing now, we need 800 Pack-A-Punch kills with the STG. 800 more kills, and we will unlock the Dark Ether can You know what? Screw it. I'll do it in this video. Before we wrap up this video, let me see if we can get to, like, round 30 and unlock the Dark Ether camo, because we're already here. Might as well freaking go ahead and do it. Ugh. Okay, well, rip. Never mind. Round 27, we ended up going down. At this point, uh, let's just go ahead and, hey. Oh, uh, one more time. You know, we probably could have exfilled. That probably would have been a better option, but I I don't know because we still got to exfil in insane amount of times. But yeah, there we go. Didn't actually end up getting the dark ether camo for the STG. I think we're probably what 400 kills away while pack a punch. We'll get that some other time. But yeah, that is the round based option in Vanguard Zombies. Definitely let me know how you feel about that. And with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up so we can start working on the other videos of the other content that was added today. Uh, but yeah, peace. Oh, hey there. Thank you for watching the entire video. I've got to take this last moment here to give a huge thanks to everyone who came to Twitch sub, our YouTube member, and extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We've got the 2X Trader Purple. We've got the most OP Gobblegum ever, Round Robin. We have the hero, Arrow Pharaoh. And then we've got the absolute legend, Peyton Perkins. Once again, got to get a huge thanks to all of them for becoming Unlock Plus Plus members here on YouTube.